Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. Welcome to Evil Genius 2 World Domination. I love all of those words. So I know I'm going to I'm going to have a great time in here. I've already put in over 10 hours all heavily tutorialized stuff and I am like hooked. Every every time I restart a campaign, I'm like learning new things. I'm just having a super time. So uh yeah, let's just get going. That is our super secret for now, Lair. And it's a casino front. It's nicknamed the Donut for reasons you will see very soon. This is our first little batch of minions. Look at them all out there being cool little guys and gals ready to do whatever I say and die at my command. And this, of course, this is us. This is Ivan. Uh, Ivan, quite literally, rules with an iron fist. <laughs> Has an appropriate <laughs> evil genius walk slash eye patch. Slash pretty much every other thing. Oh, motherland. Glorious Ivania. I miss you. But let's face it. Uh, he's obviously compensating for something. He's a softie. He's a, he's a softie. He misses the homeland. Do you want to go back? Eventually, yes. For now, there is work we must do here. Far from prying eyes. But I miss my palace, my war room. Build me a new inner sanctum. Somewhere I can gather my allies. Your vaults. And are just full. like that, we are in our base. Now, whew, there's a lot to cover. This game is. There's a lot of complexities that are happening under the hood here. This is like a base builder, survival, resource management. It's got it all. It's kind of its own unique game. And I've been having an absolute blast with this. Uh, I was able to do some pre-release stuff, but decided against it because the restrictions on what I could show Build more was pretty heavy. And I'm very grateful Rebellion uh, gave me a code for this game for free. Thanks so much for that. Uh, but I wanted to play a campaign as yeah, Ivan. I thought he was really cool and we weren't allowed to show him or certain other things. So now that all those restrictions are gone, here we go. This is our base. This is where people come in on boats, tourists, and other agents. They're going to come in here to our casino, which we will decorate to look like an actual casino at some point in the near future. This back here, this is our secret lair. So far, pretty much looks like a weird little abandoned hospital, but we're going to fix it up right now. Nice. Um, while I explain a few things to you, I'm gonna get my guys working because they need they need to be they need to be working. That's why uh, we got a lot of things to get done here. I'm gonna just start building out a corridor, and they're gonna go and do that with their cool little ray guns. Now, while they're doing this, uh, let's explain a little bit about what we're looking at here. This is Ivan's first little mission. He wants us to build an inner sanctum. Realistically. It doesn't make sense to do that. It's too expensive. We don't have any way to make money right now. So we got to handle that problem first. Uh, and then he wants us to complete all these side stories, which essentially unlock different agents. Okay. Um, let's try to get a cool little view here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So the next thing you're going to see is our, uh, this is our income. Um, the tutorial, which is really well made, by the way, is completely on rails and hand holds you extremely hard. Um, which is why I'm not playing with the tutorial on here because it basically takes away all of the individual um, kind of personality that your base has. It really forces you to build things uh, in specific spots, especially early on. The first thing it wants you to build is a vault so that you can have higher money capacity. The problem with that is that it's A, it's a target for enemy agents, and B, uh, we're going to be spending money <laughs> literally faster than we can make it. So our capacity is always going to be really low. Uh, it costs money to build these corridors and it costs money to, to build things that we want to build. Uh, this is our power. Okay, we currently have five available. We're going to need to build that very soon. Uh, this is the number of minions that we have, our total capacity and the amount that we have in the layer. This is our broadcast strength, which is used to determine how many regions we can make contact with and do jobs in. And then we've got our intel, which is used for later game missions. Uh, and then this is our spotting power, a.k.a. how many cameras we have around our base, which is something we're going to work towards relatively soon-ish. Now that this is done, uh, let's just take a look. So you can see we have a lot of buildable area. 
some of this stuff that's darker in color we can only unlock via uh, research so we're not going to be able to build on stuff like this uh for a, a little while what i'll do is i'm going to continue to get them to build out a corridor and let's maybe go like so here just so we have access to a large area of our base let's get rid of all of this and i just want them to kind of doing stuff while i'm sharing some of my initial thoughts about what we're going to do here. So I'd like to save this area near our base entrance for guard posts, uh, guard rooms, security camera rooms, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to not build here just yet. I'll probably want to build things like the barracks in this area where I have room to expand so I can increase our minion capacity, increase the number of beds and all of that. I probably want to do our control room somewhere in this area. Another room that we're going to have to expand a lot because we have to build these little uh, repeater machines in order to do jobs out on the world stage. That's going to become a priority very soon. Uh, power, I probably want to do somewhere over here just because it's a big way that we can uh, expand. And we, we're going to need to use a ton of generators. So the way that this works is that it's kind of like Prison Architect in a way, if you ever played that, where you have to build a, a room type first, and then you can uh, put the appropriate items inside. So for an example, if we wanted to, say, build a barracks for these guys, we need a place for them to sleep and recharge their stats, right? Um, we could have it coming in off of here, and then maybe even have a separate entrance New over on this side. Objective available. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to open up the whole thing. This is one of the, my favorite parts about the game. Is actually just doing like just building the base which is super fun but there's a lot of stuff that's going to prohibit us from doing that um until we get to like that mid game where we start making a bunch of money i'm going to turn this into a barracks and we'll start placing uh some we'll keep we'll keep this away from the door area a little bit only because we might end up putting a door on this later but i think like a small amount of bunks is going to be fine. This is going to improve morale and vitality for the agents that need it. Uh, I don't want to spread our guys too thin. You can see here, basically, we can only have four working at a time, like one per line uh, or one per thing that they can access. Um, and then we're also going to need to improve the amount of people that we can have in here. We can do that via... Via? 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 One of those by uh, uh, research projects, but we don't have any scientists yet. So the only other way we can do that is by building lockers. Uh, for every locker we place, we're going to get three extra minion capacity. And uh, we want to try and place these as efficiently as we can because they uh, can go back to back for one. And we also need walls for these beds. So if I place one in there just to kind of give us uh, an idea... This puts me in the green there if I want it. I'll maybe give us just a little bit of space. And we'll build a couple across like this. And then we can also do these back to back, which is cool. Can I just say, love the art style? Like, it's kind of that, like, cool, like, cartoony look. But, like, super fluid animations. It's just an absolute freaking pleasure to play. It's a real... It's awesome. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, okay. Okay. So we've got beds coming in. Somebody's already tired, as you can tell. Cool thing about these minions, uh, they all are individually named. I can't rename them. That would be cool. Uh, but they have a vitality, which is basically their health. If that goes to zero, they die. And they will. Um, smarts, which is used up when they're doing certain activities. And then morale, again, used up when they're doing certain activities. What's cool is they all have their own individual traits. Some of them matter. Some of them don't. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't catch is that in your minion manager, you do actually have a way of assigning priorities here. I'm not going to do that yet until our base is a little bit more established. But uh, you could go through based on your traits and say, look, I want this person to be trained to become uh, a guard or trained to become deception like a valet or a scientist, or hey, send this person out on schemes, right? Because they're disposable and they get sent out on schemes. Um, but that's something to keep in mind for later, but cool little tidbit for you if you're curious. Now, what do we want to build next? We need a place for these guys to eat. So let's get a mess hall set up here. And I said I want to keep this for like guards and such, specifically right here 
just so that they have close access to the doors. Um, I don't see a reason why I couldn't put a little mess hall in here. I could do that. Or I could put it... You know what? I'm going to put it back in here. Let's do this. Um, is that going to be big enough for this if I put it sideways? No, I need to go just a tad larger. So let's do that. I'll do it all the way down here too. Um, this is out in the hallway, so let's get rid of that. Never mind. This will do for now. This will do. We only need uh, a few of these little food troughs anyway. So let's throw two in for now. It's just a way for them to restore smarts and vitality, but like it's disgusting. It's literally, it's gross. It's an open cafeteria. It's just nasty. All right. So that's going to get queued up. And then we need a way to make money. <laughs> and we need to generate power because those things that we just queued up, those are going to take power when we have five. So let's get power going on maybe down here, further away from our base. Anything that's like more suspicious. Um, it's generally advised to keep it further away. Uh, this is a bit annoying because of this being blocked. Eventually, with research, again, we can remove that. But for now, that's going to be life. That's how it is. Uh, but yeah, more suspicious things are generally better off near the back of our base. Let me actually cancel that. Um, because enemy agents will have to go through the entire base to find something suspicious. And that slows them down just a little bit. New uh, optional objective available. Within this power station, we're also going to put an incinerator. Uh, let's actually hold on. So corridor this. Uh, that's not what I wanted either. Dirt this. There we go. And then uh, I have to make this just a tad bigger. And let's throw in a door here. I want a door on any place I want to protect from enemy agents that are going to start coming as soon as we start doing jobs. So let's queue that up. An incinerator also needs to go in this area. Uh, this is where we're going to burn uh, body bags from enemies. Yeah, that happens. That happens. I'll actually speed up game time a little bit. I generally will refer from doing this too much. Only because uh, I don't want to like miss things that are happening. But now you can see Chopper's coming in. It's bringing in minions. Our capacity is now up to 24 because of these lockers. And if you look here under the minion manager, uh, you can see when you click on workers, you're going to auto hire minions every minute. And essentially, I believe they bring in, um, I believe they bring in two per minute. But if you do a hire now, which gets uh, larger or gets more expensive, as your capacity increases, then I think you hire for five. Um, and you can just get a little boost to your minions. But yeah, this is why the chopper is coming and going, just bringing in minions until we get up to capacity, which we seem to be now. So, power room happening. Now we need a way to make money. The only way to do that right now. Build more generators. That's going to get fixed right away. The only way to do that right now is by building these broadcast radio repeaters. And this will let us set up criminal networks out in the world. So we do want to have, uh, we want to build this in a place with expansion in mind because uh, we're going to have to place tons of these before we can eventually upgrade them through research. It's going to take a little bit of work to get there. So what I'll do is I'll place this in this big open area that we can then expand into later on. I'll just do a small 8x10 room. Uh, I definitely want to put a door here. New optional objective And available. you can actually see that we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here uh, with, our, with our finances. I probably built rooms just a little bit too large, um, but that's okay. I have a plan for this. this construction. I have a plan. Yes, I do. Um, these can get placed kind of like this, and then they can do like back-to-back -back placements as we expand. But for now, this is fine. Let's confirm that. You may have noticed in our casino that we have uh, some things that are covered up. Old machines. Uh, they're useless now. We just sell them. That's it. That's all. They're meant to be sold as a little bit of a uh, boost. You'll notice here it's not adding to our um, uh, vault storage right now. Because the way that this game works is everything gets queued up in this menu here. And then you execute it. So just like when you're building, selling and stuff, 
operates the exact same way. So now we're going to have an additional 15,000 bucks coming in here. As you can see, they're going to go start sucking those out and we're getting big money for that. So that's going to pay for this uh, repeater. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build a second one. You know what? Maybe I'm not. I'm going to just do one for now. Again, don't want to get too ahead of myself. And I want to be able to kind of explain this as we go. Once this gets placed, we get access to the world map. Now, you might have heard like, hey, optional objectives have been updated. Or, hey, look at a side story from the, uh, from the voiceover. You're running low on power. Build more generators. Yes, I will build more generators. You'll also notice we have optional objectives that um, will give us a cash reward. So here we can get a little bit of money just by scouting specific areas. Now this island is apparently more susceptible to threats from the Saber and the Anvil um, factions because they're nearest to our base. I don't know if that has any actual gameplay implica implications, um, but all the bases have like, you know, a little bit more susceptibility to different factions. Um, so we could take that and say, okay, maybe let's scout Central Smash and just go from there and see what happens. Um, we also need to select a side story. Side stories unlock access to different agent types. So we can get valets here with uh, casino tables and stuff. And then these guys um, work with deception really well and like distracting enemy agents. A muscle, which gets us access to guard tables, security desks, security cameras, and guard posts. For us... This is what we're going to prioritize first because we're Ivan. Kind of makes a lot of sense. One of Ivan's um, perks is that his guards are paid a lower salary. So we can have more guards for less money. Um, and then we have scientists over here, which we're going to want for research. And then we're going to have technicians here, which we're going to want to repair stuff. So there we go. Let's uh, head back. This is now New up and running. Objective available. And if we wanted to, you can see here we have one in our uh, broadcast strength capacity. We could start scouting around here. Now, right now, I'm just going to kind of scout anywhere far away from our base because these are apparently less uh, aggressive towards us. But they're still going to send people. They're going to send them pretty much immediately when we make contact here. So we're going to send out our uh, minions to scout that area. You can see we're at capacity in the base. We're not generating any income right now, but the schemes that we find out here are going to be what um, what uh, generates us cash. Now, if you really want to like micromanage these guys, what we could start doing is just checking them out, saying, "Okay, you're always in a hurry. Sees people, sees dead people. That's cool. Yeah, great. Weird, but fine. Uh, afraid of dogs, likes frogs. That's fine. I don't know if these are like hidden little." things that come back later. I don't know if enemies come with dogs or something. It's possible. Um, but you could go into your minion manager and you could say, okay, let's find somebody that isn't really that good. Like this guy, unremarkable. Ori Murphy, monitoring the world. He is the one operating our control room right now for some reason. He shouldn't be, but he is. Uh, what I could do is say, go in here and say, I want you to be on schemes because you're useless. And when you send people on schemes, they're not coming back. Think of this like a currency, okay? Uh, we're going to see different schemes give us different options for how much money we can earn, how many um, minions it's going to take, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah. So what should I do with my little bit of extra money right now? I think... A new criminal network has been established. I mean, I should probably build another repeater. I really, I really should. Um, it's going to mean that we start getting attacked more frequently. But, you know, that's life. That's life out here when it's evil. I'm going to go ahead and build another power generator too. And something to keep in mind when you're placing stuff is that you can't block an area. So if I wanted to like just layer this with non-stop uh, generators, we wouldn't be able to. We'd have to expand out a little bit to be able to do that. And... We can move things for free. One of my favorite things about this is when you're just building your base, you can just move stuff around. It doesn't cost anything. So get it down, get it placed if you need to, and then worry about um, being specific later. Okay, so we have something available here. Our Canadian country, <laughs> for lack of a better word, I guess, 
is uh, is discovered. Very cool. This is the Patriot area. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out, but Patriot's up here. Smash Republic down here. Green area is Saber. Red is Hammer. And orange is Anvil. Um, yeah. So now that we're up here, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, first of all, of note, there's a heat associated with doing work in this area. Uh, heat will generate passively over time. You'll also generate 20 bucks every five seconds just from having a network up and running. So you're always making like a little bit of money, the very smallest possible amount. Um, then there's jobs that you can do in this area. So here's House of the Shed. You would gain 30 heat. You'd earn 20,000. It'll take three workers and 30 minutes to accomplish. You have this one over here. You can get 10,000 for three workers in three minutes. I like taking just some of these quick jobs early on as much as I can. They have lower heat. You just get a quick injection of cash. Only takes three minutes to do, but you lose three workers. Now, at first when I started playing this, I didn't quite understand what was going on here. You heard me mention that the minions are currency. And this is why I say that. I'm going to dispatch three minions out here to go and do this scheme. And they're not coming back. When you do the tutorial, there's a little bit of a uh, flavor conversation that happens where it's like, hey, yeah, you're, I'm, you're going out there and I'm going to bring this money back. Cool. That's great. But then the genius is like, no, 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 you're staying there. Take a little bit of money for yourself, but send back everything else. And so that's kind of like the story implication of how that goes down. Uh, yeah, so those guys are going out. Now, our other thing is built. And I could tell that because we had the Power broadcast restored. strength here. I, I know I'm kind of explaining some of this like a tutorial, so I apologize if I'm going too in-depth. But I'd just like to do that to kind of explain my thought process. And if you are having no clue what's going on here, then it should help you a little bit. What I really like about this game, too, is it shows everything in real time. Like, that's the helicopter going over there. Then it has to come back, has to pick up new minions, has to go out and find new minions, then bring new minions back, and then fly out to another place. Like, it's really, it's really cool to see um, just the way that they've they've interacted, like, or, or weaved in the gameplay with the visuals, and just, it's awesome. It's super tight. Okay, so we have our first batch of enemies coming in, like, 20 seconds. Don't love that at all. Don't love that, but we're going to have to deal with it. On these doors, I'm going to set a level three security. This just means that it takes a little bit longer for people to pass through it, our guys included, but it also slows down the enemy getting in there. So notice, a wave of investigators has arrived. It means the next boat is going to have a batch of investigators on it. Now, our minions aren't going to really be able to detect them, but Ivan should be able to. And we'll talk about that when they uh, show up here. Okay, so before I select my next place to uncover, I actually want to go into here and I want to select our side story. We're going to go into minion, uh, a mass muscle recruitment so we can get guards and all of this other cool stuff, specifically security cameras, so that we can clearly identify uh, disguises without having to have our, uh, our genius there to do it. So we're gonna but start we need this. a little more muscle around here. You there? How much can you lift? About 70 kilos on a good day. 80 if I use both hands. That's a lot. <laughs> That's actually quite impressive. And how many bullet wounds can you take before you give up? One, maybe two. Respect. Very honest worker. Much respect. My point exactly. Get out there and find someone strong. Yeah. Learn their secrets. We're going to need to find something that can take like four or five bullets minimum. Minimum. Okay. Now, we haven't really what talked. To do. We haven't really talked about our genius skills too much. Um, he's got a super high amount of vitality, smarts, and morale that we can use for some of his abilities. So this one here, this will prioritize jobs in his area. Additionally, any minions nearby receive a combat boost. That's his like thing. He boosts combat, which is kind of cool. Uh, he also, for 60 smarts, he can equip a rocket launcher that can launch up to four rockets. It causes some problems, though. It's It does cause some problems, so you got to be careful. Okay, we have a lot of, a lot of horns sounding, but uh, we are going to see our first batch of investigators come in. 
Um, any type of quick optional objectives that I could take? Build the mess hall. Uh, what I like about this is that when you do stuff, if you've, or if you've already done it and it assigns you an optional objective for it later, you can get that free reward. So I got a free five grand here. Uh, now I'm going to pause this because I don't want to miss the introduction of our investigators here. Uh, but I did say I wanted to start that side story before, uh, before taking our next scouting location. The reason is, is because now that we've started that side story, we now have the ability to kidnap these guards on the world map. And I wanted to have that slot available um, without having to build another repeater. So let's see here. I might, well, one, two, three, four. Are there any more? Is it just the four of them? One, two, three, four. I don't see any other things blinking at me. Yeah, okay, just the four. And they're all pretty close in these other provinces that we don't super love, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's go here. Let's scout this. And then we could, if we want, try and capture that guard. Problem is, we don't have a prison set up yet. So we might want to do a job or two there and then kind of deal with that. Uh, we also notice we have our first group of agents coming in. Now, what's cool about these agents, they got a lot going on, actually, okay? They got their own names. They represent a specific faction of justice or, or you know, just... Or, I don't even know it's called factions of ju justice. Let's check here. Um, I can't remember what that's called. I'm not saying correctly, but something of justice. Anyways, it's factions. And uh, they also have vitality, skill, and resolve. Vitality, kill them. Get to zero. Dead. Skill is like how good they are at uh, dismantling traps. How good they are at um, uh, finding things to uh, investigate in your base. Things to become suspicious of. And then resolve, which is things you can reduce with like... Uh, gambling additions in your casino. Uh, the bar, I think, reduces resolve. There's ways to reduce that to get them to leave as well. And the idea is to either kill them or have them leave with no suspicion. Our guy is focused on fighting, so we'll probably end up just terminating these guys. But you can mark them for capturing, which can get you intel. You can mark them for distraction, which gets them out of here without finding anything suspicious. The problem with distraction is uh, it's not super effective all the time and doesn't always work. Terminating them generally does the job, but it means you're going to be fighting and you might lose more minions because your minions aren't the strongest. But because Ivan has the buff, it might hopefully work out that way. Um, is there anything I want to show you before we wrap up for today? I don't think so. I think this is actually a good place to take a break. Um, we're going to have our first encounter with the agents uh, in the next episode. And uh, we'll just keep going from there. So, yeah. Anyways, wish me luck, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you've been here for a long time, I really, really appreciate the ongoing support, you guys. Dropping a like on the video, sharing the video on socials helps me a lot. Anything you want to do would be great, but uh, don't feel obligated. I just hope you had a good time. And uh, this should be kind of fun. We're going to be building out our lair. We're going to be dealing with forces of justice. Oh, maybe forces of justice is what it was. And uh, we're just going to have a great freaking time. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.